Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to do a um, one eyeshadow smoky eye for you and I just wanted to get on here um, and show you guys how to do that. Um, I asked on my Facebook page, I'll link that in the comments below or the, um, the box below. Anyway, I asked on my Facebook page the other day if you would rather see an, a look from an eye palette or if you would like to see a one eyeshadow smoky eye and the most vote and the one that won in the votes or the comments in my Facebook post was actually for the one eyeshadow smoky eye. So I'll do both, but I'm just going to do this one first. Um, I'm going to use the actual, um, it's a NARS Cosmetics eyeshadow that just came out in Gabon. I think that's how I say it. Anyway, um, it's like a green, um, like a black and green with some gold flecks in it. Um, so I'm going to use this. The reason why I think this one works perfectly for um, what I'm doing is because the base of it is actually really like a flat shadow, like a darkened black and green, um, but the shimmer in it um, helps give it dimension. So this one eyeshadow can look like a lot of things, um, like a lot of textures based on the brushes that you use. And the brushes that I'm going to use are just going to be a flat um, dome brush, like a flat. So, this isn't the MAC 217. This is actually, I think, from, um, where did I buy this? Coastal Scents. I think I bought this from Coastal Scents. Um, and then here is a fluffy, a, a larger fluffy blending brush um, and that I got from Born Pretty Store, I think. So anyway, um, with these two brushes and that one eyeshadow, I'm going to create a really uh, dimensional smoky eye for you. Um, this one brush for application and then the other brush is for blending. And you keep it like that and you'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take my shadow and the um, flat shader brush and just go right in. Tap, tap, tap. And then dust off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. And you'll see what I'm saying, how it looks so sparkly in the um, hand, but on my eye it looks sort of like flat. With minimal shimmer. Once you build it up though, the shimmer comes. All right, so after I've applied a little color, I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. And this is the key to smoky eye anyway. Blending. Take the other brush again. And just, I like to do the concentration of the color down towards the lash line because obviously smoky you want it to be from um, like a gradient from darkest to lightest. I'm getting it into the crease a little bit so I can blend that out in a minute. But this is not for blending this part, it's just for applying. Okay, back to my fluffy brush. You don't want to put too much pressure, you're just lightly blending over it. You put too much pressure, you're going to slide the product around and you're going to leave gaps. That outer edge needs to be darker.
Okay, so that is one eye. Um, I'll go ahead and show you again, just because it's so quick and easy. I'm gonna do it on this eye. And you'll notice how I'm holding this eye and I don't hold the other eye. This one seems to, um, they're different. My eyes are just totally different, but um, this one actually um, has like a fold over. So I gotta like hold that correctly while I'm applying. Anyway, I don't know why I felt the need to explain that, but I did. Fluffy. And um, I guess I should explain while I'm blending in case you don't know what the purpose of this is. Um, you're just sort of migrating the essence of the eyeshadow up the eye, I guess you could say. It blows it out and gives it a real diffused look. Um, you're still keeping the concentration on your lid, but you're pulling the color up. See? Like I, pl I applied nothing up there, but it looks like a completely different shadow. And you can do that pretty much with um, any eyeshadow you have, matte, sparkly, whatever. Um, Mulch is a really good one from MAC if you want to do it. It's actually really gorgeous. But it's a lot like this one where it has like a flat base and then some sparkle into it. So I'm done with the actual smoky part, but I do like when I do a dark um, or any kind of smoky, I like to bring it down on the lower lash line. So with the same brush, I'm just going to dip it into that same shadow and work it onto the lower lash line. That is that for the eyeshadow. And I'm this is gonna be just a one shadow look, but if you wanted to add any more depth to it, just pop um, like a highlight color into the tear ducts and you're done, and that'll open your eyes up a lot more. Um, now I'm gonna take the black brown it cosmetics um, no tug waterproof gel eyeliner and I'm going to go into my waterline. This is a, a roll up um, liner. So anyway, uh, I don't like putting actual wood liners, like liners that are in wood into my lash line because I've really scratched my, my eyeball before doing that. Um, but. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you that too. So I'm tight lining and going into the waterline. Not a lot, just a little. And that's it for that. And I'm gonna use the Essence eyeliner pen. Um, and I'm going to do 
like a, a wing. A baby wing probably, but a little something something. Going back and making that a little sharper. Um, same for this. I hate when liners run out of juice when I'm in the middle. This one's pretty old though. I've had it since the summer. Will be complete. I'm using the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if you can hear all of that noise that's going on out there, but I live not like a couple miles from the airport and you can hear like plain noise all over the place. You can absolutely throw on some falsies if you want to. Um, I just like my natural lashes with this. My natural lashes have been getting really good because I've been using a growth serum from, um, it's not a brand that you would notice, like you would recognize. Um, it is actually oh, Psycheo, Psycheo, I don't know. But I'll be telling y'all about that real soon. I've had some really good results. But this mascara also does a great job. Anyway, I'm going to do this lash and then I'll get back on here. Okay, everybody. So that's the final look. Um, like I promised, one eyeshadow did everything. And if you look, I mean, it really looks like it's more complex than just one eyeshadow. It looks like you have, you know, a lid color, um, you know, maybe a mid-tone color to blend and then maybe another color to darken some areas. Um, and maybe even um, a brow bone highlight, but I didn't do any of that. All I used was the one eyeshadow from NARS, and it actually just came out with their holiday collection. It is the um, Gabon, and I think that they're called Hardwired. But anyway, so that's it, and I hope that you loved it, um, and I hope you learned something, because a lot of people think that um, they can't do a smoky eye because they don't know how to use all the shades together and um, it just can get really sort of people overcomplicate it in their minds I think so I wanted to do this specific um, type of tutorial to show you that anybody can do a smoky eye you just have to have you know patience and um, you know 
keep one brush clean just for blending, no application with this brush, and then all the application with this brush. And you don't even have to have this specific brush. Um, I feel like this brush is actually um, a nice one, perfect one, really, honestly. But if you don't have it, I mean, you could feel comfortable just using any basic, um, any basic application brush. It can be just a regular flat eyeshadow brush from Mac or from Elf. That's a dollar. So anyway, these two brushes are amazing. I hope that you love this video. And um, go ahead and click subscribe and get me coming to your inbox every day. So, well, not every day. I, okay. Also, tell me in the comments below. You know what? Let's make this a giveaway. I'm going to give you, I'm going to buy one myself, the NARS Gabon eyeshadows. And um, leave in the comments below and tell me if you would like for me to do little mini reviews here, um, like one, two, three minute reviews, quick ones on just random products as I'm thinking of them through the week. Um, because I find it boring for me to get on here and do makeup application every day um, because I do the same thing day after day and I don't want to bore you. Of course, I would try to come up with some different tutorials for whatever reason, but tell me what you want to see on my channel in the comments below, and that'll get you entered into this giveaway for the NARS Gabon eyeshadow, and it's gorgeous, you guys. Let me show you a swatch real quick. Obviously, you're not getting this one. You're going to get a new one, but look at that. It's like so pigmented, like super pigmented, and then it just, boop, like, amazing i can't even explain how much i love it um but anyway go ahead and do that and we'll get this thing going and it ends let's see when does it end two weeks and two weeks from today i will pick excuse me pick a winner and um contact you via direct message through youtube because I've seen giveaways get ugly. I've had giveaways get ugly where I say somebody's the winner and then they'll email me from their address that's not them. And it just gets so confusing. So I'll personally message whoever it is that wins. And um, anyway, just click subscribe and leave a comment. So thank you and have a wonderful week.